1656 whammo. So we got a few more things to do to the planter. Uh, I gotta put a switch on it for the fertilizer. And then after that, we should be pretty well ready to go. Yeah. Today has definitely been one of them Monday scariest day. Uh, some of our neighbors still think we're still a little too wet. And yeah. I don't think we're that wet at all, but granted we have sand right there around the house and the sand's dry, so we might as well go ahead and do it. We're gonna break it, we're gonna break it now. Oh, come on, Alex, you've done this a million times. There we go. Well, there is seed in the corn planter. We're getting somewhere. Xavier will have to go get the tractor. He's gonna come out here and work this in. There's a spot out there that we didn't get to work because it got, it got a little rainy that day why dad likes to break stuff and then this is like a perfectly good little walking stick now so now we're waiting on dad to get back here i don't know where he went but so this is a db80 as you can tell 32 rows she is big and we got a total of 1250 gallon of fertilizer on it of storage it won't ever really get used unless we get into like our bigger fields down south 600 acre fields or something like that and then it's got the thrive system on the front of it as well this one has been a lot better working than the last one the last one right away we had problems with it off the bat so this one's been a lot better the installer messed up on the last one we had to have somebody come fix it so then our zyway comes out down there in a foam our starter comes out right here which we're just running ats ammonium thiosulfate and then uh yeah here comes dad I got a new name for this thing. Tiny. A 400 or a 300 acre field makes it look tiny. <laughs> So Connor's running to get more seed from town for dad. Um, so far he's planted probably three boxes today and it's only three o'clock. He didn't start till 10, may I remind you? He's 
Jake in there? No, he is not. He was. So, anyways, we're gonna go down there and check on Dad now. I'll probably grab the gator from the house and go out there and drive around in a little bit. But, yep. He's been having at it. I sprayed 400 some acres this morning. And now we are off to go see what we can mess up with the corn planter today. Dad's out there. Way, way back there. Hi, Emma. Got the fertilizer truck out here.
taken in, you start to think about, well, some of our neighbors have, have sprayers that are 132 feet. So really that's small, but still it, it's a big for, it's a big planter for around here. Alliance Tractor has never sold a DB80. So that was something I found very interesting. made it to Russellville. There's a little bit of ground up here that you can do. High ground, gravel. Makes it easier to get across. Yep, I'm gonna go over and pick him up so I don't get in trouble. Probably doesn't want to get out of there. His back probably feels good sitting there massaging his feet. It's unfolded so um anyways guys just got home dad's seed tenders in the shop obviously you don't want your seed getting wet the other seed tenders down at is that the cat that made that noise i think so anyways the other seed tenders down at doug's it's getting seed in it we'll go get it first thing in the morning um i know this is not a normal first planting video but been kind of crazy uh we've been rather wet so we've been moving around jumping around a lot um that five inch rain that we had a while back or last weekend no two weekends ago or whatever still setting us back quite a bit um jake has been working on this putting new pistons and stuff in there might try and get him on video tomorrow afternoon trying to put the last one in. He had a little bit of a mess up with the one. I'll cover that up so YouTube doesn't. <laughs> yeah. But. She be running like a dream. All kinds of goodies for it. So this truck, like many of ours here before long, will be up for sale. Uh, we're going through and like fixing them up a little bit trying to get them to where they're worth more money um, Like this truck didn't have that many problems. It was just had an overheating problem So we found out what the problem was after pulling it apart had valve seals that, or had the seals out of it and a bunch of other stuff and Came down to it and we was just like just go ahead and rebuild it the liners was all messed up and scratched up in it. So yeah anyways this is all the rest of the parts that Jake has pulled out of it. Uh, this one here will also be for, for sale before long, I think. It's getting new windshield wipers put on it. We're trying to kind of upgrade our stuff a little bit. Semis, pickups, tractors, everything's getting kind of ran through a little bit. Trying to get everything upgraded. So yeah, if you guys have any interest in either one of these two trucks, how about it? Mac, 
It's got like an E7 in it. It'll be a fully complete rebuild. And um, 06 CX-15 Allison transmission. So this is two of them. There's more. But yeah. So anyways, it's been a crazy day. Um, it is currently almost 11 o'clock and I got to edit this video for it to go out tomorrow. Um, yeah, hopefully this weekend I'll get some, or this, the rest of this week I'll get some drone footage and some other stuff to pull, put in there. Put in for the next video and then that way you guys will have a little bit of something interesting to watch. The DB80 was out and at it today. Dad loves it. Uh, he thinks it does a good job. He, we spent a bunch of time just sitting in the field trying to get everything to work for once and everything is set up just perfect so he just got in it and took off for the most part other than setting seed depth which obviously is kind of a little bit more sophisticated you can't do that sitting still at the end of the field so we got it all set up just about to what it should be set up um fertilizer was all calibrated properly the zyway system worked right right off the bat he didn't have any problems um yeah and i mean we we ran through it pretty pretty um well before even putting it in the field and it's a brand new planter and it turned out pretty well i think so yeah also the uh, work truck got some new tires put on it my dad likes the bf goodriches i like the toyos i feel like i get more mileage out of them my old truck had toyo open countries just like these on it i got like 60 or eighty thousand miles out of them the BFGs, I don't think they do that well, and these are cheaper, and they have a higher load rating, and they're a higher ply. So, take that as you want, but I like the high ply tires. They're a little bit more sturdy. Bean stalks don't shove through them, and these things are a little meaty. So, yeah. I definitely do recommend these tires though. These Toyos, 100% all the way. These are all terrains. Um, I really recommend the mud terrains, but I don't need them. I drive too much on the road for mud terrains. So, yeah. Anyways, as I said, if you guys have any questions at all about this truck or that truck, and then something else that I say I'm going to sell down the line, or something that of ours that you know that we have that you want. Um, go ahead at it. We have a bunch of stuff. So, anyways, I'm gonna sign off. It's time for me to go to bed. I went down and took care of Ross. And um, yeah, I need a shower. It's been a long day. So, thank you guys for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. Follow Farm Instagram, Facebook page, and everything. I'm trying to get more active on it. I know I've kind of sucked over the winter. And um, yeah, anyways, we'll see you guys next time.